Hi there, Rich Weller here. Uh, I've been asked to answer a few questions with respect to being a team lead. Um, and the first question here, here is, how would you describe your role as a team lead? Um, my answer to that is pretty simple. Um, it's taking care of people. Um, taking care of people from three different aspects. Uh, first and foremost uh, is taking care of my team members, uh, the, te the, the members of my uh, the members of my team that I'm working with uh, on the engagement. Uh, secondarily, um, and, you know, perhaps just equally as equally important is taking care of uh, my customers or my client stakeholders. Um, and then the third uh, category would be taking care of my managers, the manager that I currently work for. So again, uh, just to kind of summarize how would uh, I describe my uh, role as a team lead, it's all about taking care of people. What are the key challenges that I face as a team lead? Uh, well, I can tell you, to be quite honest with you, I, I'm an introvert, and uh, I have str struggled with that uh, all my career or all my life, uh, going back to the third grade. Um, I can remember incidents where I've wrestled with that. Um, so for me, um, uh, working with uh, work working with people um, is is sometimes challenging and I feel like I have to work extra hard at that um, there's a I always say that uh, developing a solution or coming up with a solution um, or implementing a solution involves um, people process as well as technology and uh, in my mind works pretty well uh, when it comes to the process and the technology side but though that one aspect that I seem to always struggle with is uh, in the people quadrant so uh, so that's it's kind of challenging for me um, at times I have to I have to work extra hard I think in my mind and and in, ensure ensuring that um, um, that I perform the right actions um, when it comes to that uh, people quadrant because it's uh it's not it's not an innate uh nature or feature within within me so what what's in it for me uh to be a team lead and why why do i want to do that well i'm a lifelong learner um i always want to uh challenge myself to do uh, new and different things um and building right on top of the concept that i feel like um I'm, my weakness is being an introvert um, I constantly challenging challenging myself to be better at, uh, at at working with people and a team lead within the team lead role uh, I get an opportunity to uh, to work on that skill and practice that uh, skill set and and try to be better um, and, uh, and and you know and, and in doing so I try to find different ways to um, inspire communicate and work with my team um, to achieve great things so that's uh, that's that's what's in it for me what what's most rewarding about being a team lead well um, I think what's most rewarding about being a team lead is being able to share my knowledge and experience um, you know I've been uh, I've been working um, you know on project manage pro I've been working on project program and portfolio management engagements for getting close to 30 years and uh, I've worked with a number of teams I've worked with a number of um, organizations and so I have a lot of a lot of uh, battle scars that I can share and uh, and I really get a kick out of um, uh, helping someone or sharing knowledge with someone um, that uh, that maybe hasn't seen they're, they're walking into a problem um, or experiencing a problem and that they've never seen before and it's one that I have and uh, and I can provide advice and guidance uh, on how to navigate those waters to me being able to share that um, is just the most rewarding part of, of being a team lead how, how did how did I get my start um, <laughs> I would say that my start uh, in being a team lead uh, actually started back in the fifth grade uh, when I was nominated um, uh, into a, a role within the, uh, the class to, to lead the class in a particular uh, role and, uh, and and it just evolved from there um, all throughout school I remember getting nominated as president of a geology club in in seventh grade and in, in different um, different uh, uh, opportunities throughout school emerged um, which kind of put me in that uh, that spot of uh, working with teams kind of leading teams guiding teams um, 
and it and it transferred over into um uh as i uh, in, as i um turned turned 12 years old I, I started my own lawn care business and and built that up to the point where you know i was uh, I had 15 people uh working for me so so that and and from there i went over into um a, a, a retail store manager where my team grew uh, we were up to probably managing close to 20 people um in in some some of the stores that i worked for and uh and then for a few worked in the retail world for a few years and then uh moved over into project management and one of my first projects um was uh i can tell you it was a a, t a team of uh direct reports of about uh of about about a dozen dozen people uh with an extended team of close to 40 40 people and it's gone on from there i've led a num led or a number of engagements uh with for the MIGSO uh, P cubed organization and uh, a number of teams uh, since I've been involved uh, for uh, since I've been involved. So what are your what are some of your lessons learned? So, as stated, I've been working with teams of people since the fifth grade, and we're not going to do the real math here, but uh, just a rough estimate. Uh, that's that's probably getting probably in the neighborhood of 40, 40 some years that I've been working with. Um, working with teams of people and 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 i can tell you this one this answer came quickly i can boil my lessons learned down to one concept and that one concept is you're going to find this hard to believe but what you need to do is is actually look for an opportunity look for the opportunity to not lead um and that 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 is kind of counterintuitive but i promise you from my years of experience that's that's my biggest lessons learned is um you want to you want to build a an empowered team one that's strong one that works as a unit uh works as a unit and as opposed to you having to guide and direct and manage all the time um ensure ensure your vision is known uh and set the intent and then get out of people's way get out of your team's way there your team will amaze you at what they can do and the capabilities that they can achieve if you just get out of the way and, and let them uh, let them be creative and and uh, you know come up with those solutions um um, but again, be there to guide them, um, behind, you know, and, and support them as needed. Uh, is there any? Is there anything else? Uh, so the last question here: Is there anything else you want to share with the wider MIGSO uh, P Cube community? And the answer to that is yes. I challenge you. Uh, I, I challenge you. What What is next for you? Get out of your comfort zone. Go do it. And I'll leave you with that. Have a great day.